Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. Thorns Home Scott Selections here for Saturday, August 19th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball with the Braves minus one and a half and minus 102 on FanDuel. Really never in doubt, Braves opened up a decent lead early, and then Strider was incredible. The Giants did not score in the entire game. Atlanta won 4 0, nice and easy, and we'll look for another winner here on Saturday. But for today's play of the day, first of all, I am aware. This video is coming out a lot later than usual. Apologies, but I was flying all day, so I did not exactly have time to get a video out early. As a result, most of the action is either about to take place on Saturday or it has already happened. So because of that, I am going to look ahead to a preseason game taking place in a couple days. Going to go to Monday Night Football in preseason in a matchup between the Ravens and the Commanders taking place on Monday at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. And for this one, going to go with the Ravens on the money line at minus 115 on FanDuel. Time recording of Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Coverings why we're going to take the Ravens money line in this preseason game. I know that you can make the argument that preseason doesn't obviously count. So most teams would not care, and it's really tough to bet on. However, the Ravens take the preseason more seriously than any other franchise in the history of the sport because the Ravens have won. 24 straight preseason games, which is, once again, it sounds like a fake stat, but it's a fact. The Ravens have won 24 straight preseason games, and Harbaugh in his career is 44-12 and 12 straight up in the preseason, while Ron Rivera has been mediocre. He's about 500 in his career, but he has lost five of his last seven preseason games, and that's including the win they had last week against Cleveland. But to go through the uh, week one of preseason, both teams had close wins. The Ravens won by one against the Eagles, but that score was a little bit misleading because the Ravens were up seven halfway through the fourth quarter with the ball, and then they threw a pick six. So Baltimore was kind of cruising, and it looked like they were going to win easily, and then they made one bad throw, and suddenly the game got very interesting. But the point is Baltimore still looks very solid in the second half, and they could have easily won the game by a lot more than what they did. Meanwhile, you have the Commanders who won their game against the Browns by two, but they were really bad in the second half. They got outscored 13-3. to three. So the point is the Commanders with Jake Fromm at quarterback as their third stringer is probably not going to look that sharp in the second half. And Baltimore, whether it involves just overall consistency or the fact that they're good from top to bottom with depth charts, the point is the Ravens have made their fair share of second half comebacks in the preseason during this 24-game winning streak. And with the Commanders being this bad with the third stringers from what I saw in the first preseason game, I think there's a decent chance that maybe Hal and Brissett play decently. Maybe Washington has a lead at halftime, but then they completely fall apart in the second half, kind of like what they did in the first game against Cleveland. But simply put, if you're going to give me a team that's won 24 straight preseason games to win another one at minus 115, I'm going to take it. That line seems too short. I think it's going to be a close game. Not going to be easy, but I think Baltimore will do enough in order to get the job done. So that once again, here for Saturday, August 19th, it's going to be on the Ravens money line on Monday Night Football at minus 115 on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.